bakers, I'm Crystal the Cake Lady, and today I'm going to be sharing a recipe for possibly my favorite cake of all time, German chocolate cake. Now this is a made from scratch cake, and I know I say about a lot of my cakes, this is quick, or this is easy, or great for beginners. This recipe is a little bit of a labor of love, but so worth it in the end. Now, if you've never made a cake before, you might not want to start with this one. I'll link up a few other recipes that you, you should probably try instead. But if you've got a little bit of experience and you follow my instructions carefully, you're going to wind up with a really tasty result. Now, another reason I really love this recipe is because my husband's grandmother was known for her legendary German chocolate cake. While I never actually even ate it or got the recipe from her, everybody says this is identical to her German chocolate cake. So it's really, really special to me and my family. Let me share with you how I make it. Here's what you're gonna need. A four ounce bar of Baker's German chocolate, a half a cup of water, four eggs separated into yolks and whites, two room temperature sticks of butter, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, two cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of granulated sugar, one cup of buttermilk, one teaspoon of vanilla, three eight-inch pans, and of course, Baker's Joy. First, you're gonna combine your Baker's chocolate and half a cup of water and microwave at 30 second intervals until the chocolate is all melted. This is what it looks like after about one minute. If I keep on stirring, that chocolate's gonna melt pretty nicely, so I think it's ready. A few little lumps in it like this is okay, as long as it's mostly melted. Next, we're going to separate our eggs. We're separating our yolks from the whites because we're going to beat air into the whites and add them at the end. To separate eggs, you want to crack the shell into two even halves and gently pour the yolk back and forth between the two halves until the white falls away, trying not to break the yolk. Put the yolks into their own bowl because we will add them earlier in the mixing process. I tend to prefer a hand mixer when beating egg whites. I needed to beat mine for about two minutes to get stiff peaks to form. Your beating time may vary though. Once you do achieve stiff peaks, set the egg whites aside for later. Okay, once the egg whites are beaten, we're gonna go ahead and combine the baking soda with the salt and set that aside. We'll go ahead and cream our butter and sugar together in the mixing bowl. If you do the math, this cake has almost four sticks of butter, three and a half sticks. I never said it was a low fat recipe. It's really, really delicious.
Divide batter evenly between prepared pans and bake at 350 degrees for 25 to 35 minutes, checking with a toothpick. For the German chocolate icing, you're going to need four egg yolks, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, one and a half sticks of butter, one and a half cups of chopped pecans, and seven ounces of flaked coconut. We'll start by combining our butter, four egg yolks, evaporated milk, and sugar in a saucepan over medium heat. Remember to shake your evaporated milk before you pour it into the pot. Once the butter has melted and it starts to boil, you're going to cook it for 12 minutes, stirring constantly. You can turn it down a little, but you still want a gentle boil. It will eventually get thicker and golden in color. After it's cooked for 12 minutes, remove it from the heat and fold in your coconut and pecans. Let it cool for several hours or overnight before frosting your cake. I hope this German chocolate cake will soon be a favorite of your family's like it is for mine. Do me a favor and like and subscribe to my channel, Crystal the Cake Lady. I release a video each weekend. Until next time, happy baking!